requirements are valid ID, Jumiho or residence record, picture for license, and money. Later on this video, I'm going to be explaining further about the requirements and the procedure. For valid ID, you can present your passport, your residence card, or your student's ID if you're 20 years old below. Yes, you can acquire your moped license or Gensuki Menkyo as early as 16 years old. For Juminhyo or residence record, you can get it to your local city hall for 300 yen or you can get it to a convenience store as long as you have your My Number card with a chip on it. For license photo, the size is 2.4 by 3 cm. Every photo booth here in Japan has an option for license photo and it costs 800 yen. If you had your photo taken 6 months ago, you can still use it. Last but not the least, money. Here's the breakdown of all the expenses, less the transportation and food, in getting a moped license. 1,500 yen for application form, 2,050 yen for issuance of permit, and 4,500 yen for moped training. The issuance of permit and moped training will be paid after passing the 50 item exam. Let us now proceed to proper attire. You have to wear long sleeves, pants, no ripped jeans, long socks, and rubber shoes. They won't allow you to take your training if you don't wear the proper attire. Here is the book that I used. It is The Rules of the Road and I bought it on Amazon. I'm going to be putting the link down in the description box so that you may check it. Step 1. Get your application form. You can get your application form on the cashier after paying the fee. Don't forget to fill out all the necessary information such as your name, birthday, cell phone number, and address. Also, do not forget to paste your photo on top. Step 2. Go to the testing area. Make sure to prepare your filled out application form Hyo and ID to present to the staff there. In return, they will give you the bubble sheet and the number that will serve as your seat number and your test number. Step number three, examination. Read carefully the questions before answering. The examination is 1 to 50 and it's answerable by true or false. Step 4. The result. After taking the exam, you'll wait 15 minutes for the result. You know you'll pass the exam if you saw your test number on that blue screen. But if you didn't saw your number there, it means you failed. If you failed, do not lose hope. You can still take the exam on the next day but you have to pay another 1,500 yen for another application form. And that's it. I hope this video helped you to get your Gensuki Mengkyo or Moped License. Thank you for watching. See you on my next one.